James Clayton reporting from Santa Cruz. While the intense storms in California may be partly linked to climate change, say scientists, as we burn fossil fuels and heat the atmosphere, the warmer air holds more moisture, which can make storms more wet and more intense. Last year saw extreme weather around the world. A new data from the European Union shows that 2022 was the second warmest year on record for Europe and the hottest ever summer. Our climate editor, Justin Rowlatt, reports. France had a brutal summer. It recorded its hottest ever year and lowest levels of rainfall. The perfect conditions for the wildfires which swept the country, destroying crops and threatening homes. The Gironde region in the south of the country was very badly hit. I think it's really frightening in terms of having things prepared for an escape if we need to which again sounds totally crazy when I, I say it out loud that you know we might need to escape from where we we live but it gives you some sense of security that that you are preparing things and that things are there and ready to go if needs be it was a similar story across the continent, which experienced its worst drought for 500 years. Some of Europe's mightiest rivers hit record low water levels, including the Danube, the Rhine and the Loire, as the UK, Germany and Spain also experienced record heat waves. This shows average surface temperatures worldwide in 2022. Blue areas are below average, but look at the hotter than average red areas. Europe particularly Western Europe, is especially hot, as is much of Northern Asia. Wales also recorded its highest ever temperature during a year in which global temperatures were 1.2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. Now, governments have committed to trying to keep global temperature rise to within 1.5 degrees to avoid the worst of global warming. But scientists say time is rapidly running out. If we look at the current level of emissions and current level of warming, we will hit 1.5 degrees sometime in the early 2030s. So we're already living on borrowed time effectively and borrowed emissions. The most dramatic warming of all is happening in the coldest places. Temperatures over the centre of Greenland were 8 degrees higher than average in September. Antarctica experienced a record period of intense warmth too. More evidence of how our world is changing. Justin Rowlatt, BBC News.